Zach's Rank Buys, stocks with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. Value stock time once again with Tracy Reinick, our value stock analyst at Zach's.com. And uh, among the two stock ideas, stock picks that you brought with you, uh, at least one we've talked about, but it's been a while. Yeah. But we'll start with this one, Bristow Group, BRS, the ticker symbol. Right. What do they do? Helicopter services. I see it now. Yeah. It's written right um, in front of me. I, I haven't talked about them before, and they're kind of interesting. They are a, kind of a play on the energy sector, which, as you know, I like. They do helicopter services. They're one of the largest in the world, and they basically go out to the deep water rigs, and you know where and they need what? to take supplies, transportation, oh, search okay. and rescue, anything where okay. they have to go and take people or things out to the rigs. I'm glad you explained that. I never would have gotten that out of helicopter services. No, no, you wouldn't. Sound like a, a banner towing company or something. Right. Well, yeah, it could be a lot of different things. So they're in kind of an interesting industry because that area is still growing. I mean, people are looking for oil way out there. And right. they recently um, got some new helicopters that go even further out to the deep water rigs, which some of their competitors don't have, which should give them a little bit of competitive advantage going forward. Mm -hmm. You know, they've had, because of the rigs shutting down and what has been happening over the last year, they've had a little bit of rough time of it. Um, you know, they saw revenue that was flat for the second or this last quarter. They had, um, it, it was down in the Gulf of Mexico, but they saw some rebound in like areas like Australia where they were able to get some new business. They're in off the coast of Nigeria, which we know what's kind of going there with the rebels, you know, disrupting oil supply and things happening, the yeah. dangerous yep. aspects of that. Yep. So, you know, it's it all depends on the area of the world, but things are turning around. And as the en energy industry turns around, which it will going forward here, they should be doing better. Analysts like what they see. Um, they've been raising estimates for the full year um, after this last number, which they beat. They surprised on estimates uh, for the third time um, in the last four quarters. So that's all been good. It's just a matter of like what we've seen with a lot of companies, you know, getting the revenue kind of picking up here. They are not that expensive. They're trading around 12 times earnings. The chart is kind of interesting. They traded down in March like almost everybody else and then have about doubled off of that. But as I said, they're not that expensive here and they're kind of a play on, you know, people needing oil in the next, you know, several years. Yeah, you would think that's still going to be a, a, a need that'll be out there for some time to come. Right, and a lot of drilling is going to be done out there, especially, like I said, in the deep water where they now have capacity to go out and provide services. So. All right, and then you also wrote recently about Dry Ships yes. Incorporated, D-R-Y-S, the ticker symbol. Now, um, I think we've talked about this company before. We've yeah. definitely talked about the dry bulk carriers definitely. before. Yeah. But it's been a while. It has. So why have you like drifted away from them and now all of a sudden looking back at them? Well, it's been kind of chaotic for the dry bulk shippers. Um, you know, it, they were on a crazy upward trajectory last year when oil was surging. A lot of the commodities were surging. They were shipping. The Baltic Dry Index had a new record high last year. Right. All the stocks were surging. The The estimates were all up. Um, and then, and then that stopped. Yes. And then the, the bottom basically fell out of the whole industry. And the, the Baltic Dry Index plunged. Shipping is almost halted. You know, it's Due been, to the economic issues yes, around the world. Yes, it's okay. been really, really difficult. So I was surprised to see them in, as a Zach's number one rank. They're only trading at six times forward here. Um, the interesting thing is they, you know, it's still a rough go. Like I said, they had um, 11, last year in 2008, the earnings per share were about $11. And this year, analysts are expecting about a dollar, a dollar six, I think they're up to now. So that's like a 90% drop in revenue. So that's, that's kind of hard to overcome. But, you know, estimates are up. Um, seven out of eight analysts had just recently raised for the full year. So they're starting to see a slight turnaround. You know, these kind of, these shippers and dry ships has a lot of debt. They've been like issuing shares and, uh, you know, convertible notes and things to to get money. They have a lot of ships in the pipeline coming up in the next, you know, several years that they ordered when things were great, but now they're going to have to take possession of them, but there's no demand for shipping. The good news is the dry Baltic uh, dry Bal uh, Baltic Dry Index has um, rebounded from its lows and it's traded up significantly in the last uh, like month or two, which has helped these stocks. So we can infer that there is a, uh, a growing need for shipping again in this, this particular um, type of shipping? It's better than it was before. I mean, demand is still 
demand is still down. Okay. But no trends yet. That we not yet. I mean, some people are saying it's rebounding off of what's happening with a lot of the commodities and stuff, but it's a little too soon to totally say that it's on its way to health. But, um, you know, these stocks are attractive because it is only at six times. And if, if you look at the chart that I'm just putting up right now, I mean, it was insane. It was at like $115. It plunged all the way down to under like $5 a share. And this, this is one of the bigger companies in this yes. business. Yes. It's very popular with investors. So I think a lot, some value investors might be kind of surprised I'm covering it now because it trades with like 23 million shares a day on average volume. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of, you know, people in and out of the stock. But like I said, if they make the dollar or six they're supposed to make, they're only trading it six times. You are probably buying them on the belief that things will get better in the, better in the next you know, five to 10 years for the shippers because hopefully the global economy will rebound enough where you know, demand significantly picks up. Um, so like I said, you know, it's not a bad price here at what you're getting. A right, little bit of value there. Yeah. Do you own either of these two? I do not. Check out more Zach's Rank stock pick ideas over on Zach's.com's homepage in the upper right-hand corner where we put four new stock pick ideas for you up each day, one in each of the investing categories written about on Zacks.com. With Tracy Reinick, I'm Terry Ruffalo.